begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And what a great finish it is. Perfect body. He strikes so well. What an excellent finish. Hello again lads, welcome back to the channel, my name's our lad for set play gaming, this is the FIFA 23 West Brom career mode, it is the road to glory with AD Beardroyd, it is season 4 episode 91, jumping into the business we have, just a reminder of who is out on loan, Josh Griffiths has agreed to join Brighton and he's now on loan with them until the end of the season, we're just not going to be able to give him games, um, and then the next guy is Dylan Sharp, the promising right back who could replace Furlong um, he's only 22 he's on loan at Osasuna in Spain so hopefully he comes back a little bit better than what he is and then Alex Guest has joined Cosenza in Serie B a little bit unlikely but at least he's out the door and getting some experience he's still only 16 so still some hope that something becomes of Alex Guest We'll see how he gets on. And then the final one is Rico Richards. He's on loan at FC Utrecht. Again, a nice development league for him to go to. And he is only 22, so some room for improvement for him. That completes the loan update. Let's get to today's games. We start with a game against Preston away to finish the December games before we jump into January. And you can see here uh, the game, the first game in January on the Saturday. We're taking on Sheffield United away at Bramall Lane. That's a huge game. We finish today's episode with a match in the FA Cup against Cambridge United. I'm hoping that we can get some wins today. Let's get behind the boys and see how we get on. So the first game is against Preston North End. And we're in the rain. We're playing here at Deepdale. Hoping to pick up some points again in the championship. The opening three minutes. All of Sunday down the right. He's going to... Get into the box, pulls it back, and Fernino shot. Just tried to stop and then spin and turn. Just couldn't get the shot on target. And then seven minutes in, Batchway into Shortire. Shortire's pass sets up Wallace. And a great finish from the captain, Jed Wallace, as he opens the scoring. And look at the away fans, they're cheering there. Lovely setup by Shortire. Gets it back from Batchway. And he's proving to be a nice, um, astute signing from the free agency after Manchester United let him go. It's definitely something that I wanted to take advantage of. And then 16 minutes in, Nino takes a long-range shot. Had Palmer scrambling to his left. You see there the defender coming in to try and block it. Not a bad effort from distance. He certainly seems there, danger man. And then on 40 minutes, a nice block from that cross and a swift counter-attack. Diangana, short tyre down the right. And here he is. He's going to get it into the box, chip it in and waiting in the middle. Beth Bachway with a nice volley, great connection. And um, occasionally when we counter-attack, we don't seem to have a lot of fluidity, but... This one was really, really well done uh, from Diangana through the middle, plays it wide to short tyre, and then his cross sets up Batchway on the edge of the six-yard box, and a lovely finish there. And then on the stroke of half-time, Fernino into Emil Rees, and a strong shot parried away by Palmer. We're going at the break, two goals up. And basically just going to sit back and counter-attack them. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Just before the hour, Nino on the turn into Rias. And a low shot pushed around the post for a corner kick. Alex Palmer with a great save. He is a good goalkeeper. Definitely a, a good backup to Peacock Farrell. And we still have to give him games. And then on the hour, corner kick swung in. Ali McCants first time volley. Looking for the bottom corner to try and get Preston back into it. It's a good effort. You just think that's the wrong side of the post. You just think that Preston are at least going to score a goal. 20 minutes left. Rias through to Mickelson. Into the box. He's going to pull this back. And it's Woodburn shot. I thought it was going to go in off the deflection. 
Caleb Taylor getting in the way. Palmer probably had the shot covered. He scuffs it a little bit, but then I thought he'd redirected it into his own net, especially from the angle that I was looking at it. And then nine minutes left. Rias back to Nino, and then he's robbed from behind by Fuchs. And then Fuchs with a chance plays a brilliant pass. Grady Diangana, look at this. Into Grant, one touch. Into Wallace, easy street. Thank you very much. We were set up to counter attack them. And when they push forward in the final 10 minutes, we hit them with a sucker punch. And look at that first time finish by the captain. Pradic going one way and then. Wallace just cuts across him and puts it in the bottom corner. And look at Aidy Booth ride. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Final few minutes. Um, Preston come forward, trying to at least get a consolation. Cunningham down the left space, crosses it, miscontrolled. And then Rios thumps the crossbar after beating Palmer. It just won't go in for Preston. Not their day. And we come away with a 3 0 win. I'm very surprised at that. But happy as well. On to the next game. Alright, so after getting themselves relegated from the Premier League, Sheffield United have started the season poorly. And they find themselves in mid-table. We're hoping to try and get one over us here in the Championship match. As we take on Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. This is their lineup. There's a couple of names there that I'm not that familiar with. John Duque um, and Harris Belkebler. I don't know who those guys are. Have to keep an eye on them in midfield. And the opening five minutes. Duque into Belkebler. Jebperson into the box. Goes to the top corner. And a great save. Bailey Peacock Farrell diving to his left. You see there the defender just out of position. A step away from him. A goalkeeper coming to our rescue. We know they're going to try and put us under pressure. And on 15 minutes... Lose possession of the ball. Duque into Jebison. Now Bayo. Mohamed Bayo into Zaraga. He pulls it back. Bayo's low shot. And then O'Shea gets a toe end on it. And we manage to clear it. Scramble it clear. Definitely under pressure. Then a corner kick. Swung in. Mohamed Bayo's header. Clawed away by Peacock Farrell as he gets across. We'll see this from the replay here. There was a man on the line, but a wonderful save. Another corner swung in, headed away. This is after 21 minutes. And then Wallace with a fantastic ball. Carl Ann Grant up against Belkebler. Goes round him into the box. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. He smashes in low past Davies. Don't ask me why Davies didn't at least dive down at his feet. Maybe he was just running too quick. You see here from the replay, Belkebler gets wrong footed. He's into the box. I thought when he took that final touch there, I thought, oh, he's messed this up. Because I assumed that Davies was going to go down and strip the ball from him, but he didn't. So against the run of play, but we have a um, lead. And then five minutes later, Malumbi gets taken out here by Oya Zoraga. A lunge. Lucky to probably be on the field with that. Ends up getting a yellow card. And then, just after the 42nd minute, it's played across. Furlong takes a touch to go around low. Then he takes another touch and then gets wiped out by Marcus Lowe. And Marcus Lowe ends up in the... Um, Max Lowe, I should say, not Marcus. Max Lowe uh, ends up in the book as well. Sheffield United trying to establish their dominance here some overall physical play and then Jebison on the stroke of half time into the box the defender doing enough to push him wide and he ends up shooting over we go in at the break with a narrow lead um, most of the shooting has been done by the home side and uh, we need to just make sure that we hold them off here in second half Jebison into Bayo Bayo goes into the box he's going to pull this back Jebison's low shot pushed away by Bailey Peacock Farrell, then it's pulled back to Zaraga, and his low shot screwed wide. Sometimes I realise that we just have to hold on to a narrow lead, and on 60 minutes, a lovely cross from Carl Grant 
into DK and a lovely, exquisite touch by DK just to set up Diangana and a lovely curled finish. Wonderful technique to make it 2 0. So now we have an insurance lead to hold on to. We're just going to sit back on this. You see here, Bayo shot. Great save that is by Peacock Farrell. And then from the corner kick, 66 minutes. And Dai's header, great save. Zoraga following up. Should have been pulling that back. And then three minutes left. And Dai down the left, beats Furlong. He's going to cross this in. And then Bayo's heavy touch allows Bailey Peacock Farrell to get across. He has played sensational for us. And we end up keeping a clean sheet here at Bramall Lane. We defended so well. Um, I didn't expect. I, I expected to at least lose either the Preston game or this game. But to come away with two wins. I am very pleased with that as we head into the FA Cup match. Let me know what you think. So we'll just take a look now at the EFL Championship. 28 matches into the season. I feel like in third... We can go for that second spot, that automatic promotion spot. We're hot on the heels of Burnley. Norwich, Ipswich and Middlesbrough occupy the playoff spots. Brighton and Reading just outside of them. As we drop into mid-table, you can see Bristol City, Preston. We just played Sheffield United, beat them. Uh, they are in 13th. Stevenage are all clip in 14th. Dropping into the bottom half, you can see Peterborough. They're in trouble with only two wins from 28 games. QPR and Cheltenham are also in the relegation places. In the top scorers, Sunset for Bournemouth has 21. Then next is our guy Bad Shway with 16. Uh, Lorenzo Luca for Reading has 15. Philip Billing for Bournemouth has 14. Not bad so far. Here we go, heading into the third and final game. AD Boothroyd um, demanding we get a home win here as we take on Cambridge United in round three. This should be a banker at home. Uh, get our name in the hat for the fourth round. Opening few minutes, short tyre on the right side. Chips it up, DK's knocked down. O'Reilly gets the better of Horamans and a low shot. Pushed away, turned around the post by Dimitar Mitov. We just have to make sure that all of our um, possession okay. and control and dominance pays off. And in the opening seven minutes, Fuchs to short tyre picks out O'Reilly at the back post. And it's a great header back across Mitov into the far corner. One of the things that I didn't actually realise at the start was that O'Reilly's actually quite a big lad. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's 6'2". So there's some aerial presence there when he plays as a cam. Um, that you don't normally get if you play one of those mobile, um, you know, pacey sort of attacking midfielders. And then 25 minutes in, Charles Petit hacks down DK. And I've seen this quite a bit this season is that their midfielders or their players for the AI basically lunge in and they only get a yellow card when it really should probably be a red. Then on 35 minutes, Reyes Cleary pulls it back. DK shot block. He goes for another follow-up. Mitov kicks it away. And they're just trying to survive here as Yukuslu holds it up in the box. Back heel to short tyre into O'Reilly. He pulls in the two defenders and then Reyes Cleary curls it in. Cleary's actually a striker, but with him being a mobile striker, and right-footed and playing him on the left wing as an inside forward today. Especially against weaker opponents. You want to try and uh, give these sort of players games. Um, when you've got a chance of playing them, you you can do that. You can uh, expose their weaknesses. And five minutes to go till half-time. Shortire is going to cross it. DK knocks it down, sets it up for O'Reilly. He goes for a shot. I was trying to cut it across into the other corner, but he ends up scooping it. Yeah, not the kind of technique you're looking for there. And uh, as we go into the break, a comfortable two-goal lead. We should be able to add to that in the second half, I feel. And then in the opening transactions of the second half, Vidal plays through Smith, and a low shot just goes past the post. That's the closest they're going to get. And uh, game a few chances for Cambridge. Not a bad effort from Smith. Chance to put his name in lights there. 
And then on 64 minutes, Sully Ahmed, short tyre, Ingram on the overlap, his cross knocked down by Brandon Thomas Asante and Reyes Cleary completes his brace, smashing it in, not once but twice. Um, lovely setup, Ingram, the right back with a cross and then Thomas Asante arriving in the box, you'll see here with a brilliant awareness just to flick that to the edge of the six yard box and a lovely finish by Reyes Cleary under the goalkeeper's arm. Three goals to nil. And then with 10 minutes to go, we're applying pressure, trying to grab that fourth. It's knocked down. Yakushlu gets a block in. And then Shortire brings it down into Thomas Asante, into Reyes Cleary, into Shortire. He beats Mitov, but then it ricochets back off the post. I thought that was going to be the fourth. And then five minutes left. Cleary. Plays in Asante, goes round Horamans, bottom corner, thank you very much. Just too much pace, too much movement. And we absolutely blow Cambridge away and advance to the fourth round. Lovely one too. Lovely turn of pace and lots of composure at the end there. It'd be nice to get some of these players loans out to some of the lower league teams, but you only ever get offers from the foreign teams, unfortunately. And there we go, full time, job done. We're in the hat for the fourth round. As always, please leave me a comment. Let me know if you're enjoying the series. And uh, a fantastic win. Three wins from three. All right, thanks for watching today. If you're enjoying the series, consider watching more content by clicking on the playlist available at the end of this video. Also, why not consider subscribing to help support me on the channel? This has two benefits. One is helping my main aim of getting 400 subscribers. And two, you won't miss any up and coming episodes. I will see you guys back fresh on Friday with episode 92. We face Coventry and Bristol City in the league and a crucial FA Cup round four match. Thank you so much for your support. This is our lad for set play gaming.